Station Space to Ground 2 for... PLM. And go ahead, Frank. We have just closed the uh, Nodes 2 hatch and we are ready for the MPLM vestibule depress. And we copy that, Frank. Thank you. Station Houston, space to ground two for Frank and vestibule depress. Probably go ahead for uh, on two for vestibule depress. Yeah, Frank, we just want to go and get a status of where you are in the procedure. Yeah, copy it. Uh, Crystal was working uh, the last uh, times. We are currently ready to start uh, step nine. Uh, our uh, P7 minus P6 is uh, less than 2 millimeters uh, to give you the status. P6 was 10.2, P7 was 11.4. Uh, the timings of P6 were 9.22 and on P7 was 9.52. And we see ourselves go for step uh, number 9. As you can see from this uh, downlink video, the Canadarm2 is now in motion, being operated by Jose Hernandez from the uh, robotics workstation in the Destiny Laboratory, assisted by pilot Kevin Ford, as uh, the arm moves in to grapple the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module. This uh, coming in the final stage of the leak checks uh, at the berthing interface between Leonardo and the Harmony connecting node to which it has been attached for the past week. All of the items now securely installed in Leonardo, all set for it uh, to be unberthed from the International Space Station and placed back into the cargo bay of Discovery for the trip home. Jose Hernandez has now grappled uh, the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module with the Canadarm2. We are completed with uh, step 11 and MPLM vestibule depress and leak check. And we copy that, Frank. Station Houston, space to ground two for Christer and Nicole and CBM DMate. Yes, Christer here, go ahead. Hey, Christer, with Frank's call that he's complete with the vestibule depress and leak check, you and Nicole are go to start the CBM DMate. Pipe rolling straight over from the, the leak check to the MBM and the mate in work. Are we starting working now? Copy that, Christer. You're the continuity here. I think so. Final inventory of uh, the transfer items uh, being logged uh, here in the Mission Control Center. A good view inside the Destiny Laboratory. Uh, Nicole Stott on the left, uh, Christer Fugelsang behind her. Kevin Ford on the right side of your screen. Frank DeWinna capturing uh, imagery of this activity. Uh, Stott uh, is about to begin uh, working with uh, Fugelsang at a command and control panel uh, to uh, send the commanding to begin to drive the 16 bolts holding the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module open, uh, setting the stage for the detachment of the cargo module from its berthing port on the earth-facing side of the Harmony connecting node. Houston station on the big loop uh, for uh, the CBM bolts driving, and we are on step seven, ready to start there. Just checking with you for uh, attitude control. And step seven is complete, Christer. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, mechanical systems officer in the space station flight control room reports that all of the uh, bolts and latches have now been disengaged. Leonardo now in the grasp solely of the Canadian-built robotic arm, soon to be backed away from its berthing port on the earth-facing side of the Harmony connecting node.
STS-128 pilot Kevin Ford and Mission Specialist Jose Hernandez working on moving the Leonardo Multipurpose Logistics Module from the Harmony node back into Discovery's payload bay. It's a very slow and methodical process. Once it is put back into Discovery's payload bay, there will be four latches that will be secured to uh, hold Leonardo in place for the return trip back home. There will also be a power supply plugged into it. While this activity is going on, the rest of the crew is uh, finishing up some transfer activities between Shuttle Discovery and the International Space Station, making sure that everything is uh, on board Discovery's mid-deck for the ride back home. This is Mission Control Houston. The Leonardo Multipurpose Logistics Module making the last few inches down into Discovery's payload bay. Station Discovery, you've got to go for MPLM on grapple. This is Mission Control Houston. As you can see, the station's robotic arm being withdrawn at this point in time. It has done its work for this mission, as has the Leonardo Multipurpose Logistics Module, which is now secured down into Discovery's payload bay. It was secured at 8.20 p.m. Central Time or 9.20 p.m. Eastern Time.